Yo, what's going on, Leafer Nation? It's Leafer back again, and today is Friday, and you know what that means. EA has dropped a new event. So I gotta hand it to EA. Last week's event was unbelievable or two weeks ago it was a great event huge w i think this is another w event so it's called the nhl moments uh, so you earn nhl moment collectibles for use in exclusive sets by completing event objectives like the last event you don't get a free 94 overall player this time but you get the collectibles as you can see here i don't know if it's really worth the grind unless you want to make uh, the players that are here so um, that is that we will quickly go uh, through each individual card um, in the collection um, and there's some pretty good master set players from this event so from what I read um, you do have a limited time to get the 97 overall Connor now he has three points to heart and soul three points to howitzer three points to thief this card end game card pretty much my boy Morgan Riley from when he got cone, coned in that game is on this card uh, amazing card art by the way um, so you uh, limited time to get this 97 McDavid I believe uh, you have his 96 who he has uh, he has two to heart and soul two to howitzer and one to thief this card looks unreal it's McDavid it's an unreal card you got a 95 map Barzell two to spark one to light the lamp one to gladiator a pretty good card too actually um, you got a 95 Cam Fowler two to balance uh, one to howitzer and one to shut down this card is actually very good uh, he has pretty good synergies I don't have balance going but howitzer is really nice but this card looks amazing even without balance it looks great um, not not bad actually uh, we got Barclay uh, Goudreau um, interesting master set player but he's got two to spark one to speedster one to magician actually not a bad card to be honest but interesting choice with a Goudreau uh, you got an Anthony Mantha ooh two to distributor one to light the lamp one to pass passing playmaker pretty good card if I do say so myself and then you got a 95 Jacob Markstrom two to balance one a distributor one a swarm a pretty Good goaltender with uh, the great synergy, 6'6", 196, pretty good goaltender. Uh, we got a Teppo Numenon, uh, two to distributor, one to gladiator, one to wingman. Another pretty good card. I think I'd take the Cam Fowler over him, but not too bad. You got a 95 Bobby Ryan, two to swarm, one to light the lamp, and one to workhorse. Ooh, this card is unreal, super fast. Not a bad card, actually. Pretty decent synergies, too, if you're trying to go for Swarm. And then you got the 94 overalls. You know how that works over there. Um, for the limited time, when you're building up to McDavid, like the last set, you get the 94 and stuff like that. So I won't show you that. Sveshnikov is one of the uh, other cards that they released. Two to Spark and two to Magician. This card looks absolutely unreal. Um, it would be pretty nice to get this card. Two very good synergies. Vechnikov having a very good card. Duncan Keith also got a card here. Two to Barrage, two to Gladiator. Not a bad card. Alec Martinez getting two to Distributor, two to Shutdown. Decent looking card as well. Um, Stefan Matteau, uh, two to Spark, two to Howitzer. Pretty good card. He is pretty slow. 6'4", 220. Probably not the greatest card, but again, if you throw him on your fourth line, two great synergies with two uh, points to them each. And I believe that is it. So, um, pretty decent cards here. We'll now run through the sets that they have released. And then we have a bunch of packs to open here. 2201 open packs. They're all from the or, uh, Hot Rush. So, they're decent packs. But you never know. Maybe we pull something and maybe we'll drop a little money as well. Um, but looking at the sets here, the generic gold players for gold collectibles. You have uh, 16 gold collectibles for uh, trade and choice of one of these 794 master set players you got um so trade random trade for a random 94 overall item um all gold collectibles here so you got 20 of them um i guess uh, why why would you want to do this one actually that makes zero sense to me here you have a choice of one of seven for 16 gold collectibles but for four gold collectibles more why not you get a random 94 moments that that okay that set is just a waste of space um trading gold players for nhl moment elite master sets okay that's generic as well nhl moments collectible so uh with the collectibles you can get okay so you can get uh two red hot packs which i will show you soon you get a uh okay a, ooh, okay so you trade in the eleven or the eight of them and three gold collectibles for a ninety choice. Uh, okay, it's that's all right. And then here, 
Um, okay, uh, if you want a choice of one of seven, you trade in four, eight, ten gold collectibles with the moments. That's not bad, actually. And then for the McDavid to get his 97, it's a limited time. Um, gold collectibles uh, is six, three, five, sorry, and then his 96 that you have to build and the moments collectibles. So not too bad there and then looking at the master sets what you have to do for them i'm not going to go through every one but for the mcdavid you needed the eerie's otter logo oh my goodness that is going to be in it's going to be insane to obtain uh, uh that logo okay maybe not but they they are going for a pretty penny so that's three gold collectibles there with that logo um the jersey so that's what five gold collectibles uh, six, seven, eight gold collectibles, 16, 16. There is a lot of gold collectibles here. So we're at 16. Oh my God. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. All right. So, I mean, makes sense. You're trading on a lot of gold collectibles here. Um, wow. Uh, it, it, these are expensive master set players. Obviously it's McDavid. He's the best card in the game. One of the best cards in the game. And he's going to cost a lot, but here, I find this interesting. I guess you, the only one you can make is McDavid. These guys, you need to obtain their 84, and then if you want to upgrade them to their 85, you have to trade in three gold collectibles and two players. So, interesting, interesting sets. Um, I think this is a W event, if you ask me. Um, so, big ups to EA for that. Looking at the packs, they're probably the generic packs here. So, starter pack, uh, you get a gold collectible guaranteed 82 overall. Um, 20 players 182 overall player okay and the red hot pack six gold players are better so the the normal pack so that's a new event that's a rundown of the new event i don't know if there's any hot challenges maybe that i need to show you guys here uh random okay so monthly collectible random set required all right so that's pretty cool they give you random set things that you need doing hot challenges i don't know if it's worth it but if you're really grinding for it it is so like i said we have 22 unopened packs some of them aren't the greatest some of them are decent uh we'll open them and see if we can pull anything i, I doubt it but you never know all right so we're just gonna fly by these men um like i said i think this set is a huge w from ea or this new event is a, another w back-to-back -back w's from ea so um good stuff on them um Am I looking to build anyone from this event? I highly doubt it if I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. Um, I don't have the coins or the players or the collectibles to go out and build one of them if I wanted to anyways. Um, that's the only reason why I'm saying no. Otherwise, yeah, I would love to build one of them. Fowler looks great. McDavid looks amazing. But um, I just don't think um, I have the coins or players or collectibles. So... Um, it is what it is, but hey, maybe we pull something from these packs. You never know. Four gold players pack. Okay, we have a chance here. I don't know. If none of them are premium. Jake Muzzin, Leaf Legend, um, and nothing else. Hey, I know these packs aren't great. Just trust me. I'm probably going to spend a little bit of money. We'll open up some packs that are in the store, so don't worry about it. We, we got some good packs coming here, boys. Mini pack. These packs are the mini packs are the worst packs in this game. Um, and I'm waiting for EA to prove me wrong. But um, getting those packs are just horrible, man. They really are. Mini players pack, premium player packs. Okay, so here we go. We got some premium players packs. We got some prime packs. Uh, maybe we'll just go in order here. So base pack with Ovechkin on the cover. We're going to skip it. Nothing. Nothing going in this one. But hey, we're getting some gold players. Maybe build some collectibles. So that's not bad. Uh, we got a prime pack. Matthews on the cover. Matthews does have a 95 prime timeout now. Um, I wouldn't want to pull them though because it'd be untradeable and um, I kind of already have a 95 untradeable Matthew so it wouldn't do me um, any good. So we got a premium one gold player pack. I've seen some crazy premium gold player packs here as we pull a base 80 but like I've seen some play some people in the community pull purples from these so you just never know in all honesty here what you could get as we're just pulling base 80s and, and lower which is just horrible get these base packs out of the way these are absolute garbage not that the 7.5k packs are any better but these are just not good 300 coins though i guess uh, we'll take it that that'll up the bank account there uh we'll go with the other base pack ovi on the cover and nothing not even a gold tinted player so you hate to see that 
premium three gold players pack. We get one eighty overall or higher. Um, who's it gonna be? We'll see. All right, it's Ilya Samsonov and and Walter Broda. That's a pretty cool card. Not gonna lie, but obviously not what we're looking for. But my hopes aren't high with these packs. So if we don't pull anything, I'm not gonna be like devastated. Like I I just kind of expect it at this point. Shane Gossesbear. I think eighty two is the highest we've pulled so far. That ain't great. That ain't great at all. So we got these premium packs. We'll keep the jumbo premium for last. We got a mini players pack here. So let's eat these player packs. We'll make David on the cover. Maybe we pull his 94 out of these. You never know. Um, but we'll see. Like, I, like I said, I don't have my hopes anywhere high for these packs. But I just thought I'd run down, show you guys the new event, and then open up these packs on video because why not? Um, you never know if you pull anything, so might as well record and see. Trevor Moore, though, Leaf Legend, we like that, I guess. A couple of premium packs left here, and then maybe we will spend a little bit of money here. Boom, Byram, Lucas Raymond, we're getting a bunch of rookies here, but nothing to show for that we really want unfortunately we're gonna keep ripping these there's no point of pausing and hoping for something they're the premium packs we have 500 coins there not too bad and that's it all right next premium pack see what's uh what's to hold in here and it's absolutely nothing last premium pack here and then i don't know if those other two packs are any better but you never know dude the fact that we haven't pulled a gold tinted player just shows you how bad these premium packs are this year unreal so we got a mini players pack see what we get in this year i don't know i doubt there's anything in here travis dermot close personal friend we love that and that that is absolutely it from that and a jumbo premium pack um maybe we pull something in here doesn't look like it kyle clifford uh oh markstrom has a master set out we pull his base that one that one stings a little there yeah 750 coins and that's it from that right, so we got some more packs loaded up here i finished the hot rush so hopefully we pull something here uh premium four gold players we'll probably actually do the prime pack first matthew's on the cover if we can pull a master set player from this event that would be super dope um i don't know if we will because it's going to be hard to in these packs maybe that very last pack we have the nhl players choice pack we have a better chance at um, but I'm not too sure. It, it would be sick to pull something huge so I can throw them onto my team because pretty much every card in this event is actually pretty good and usable. Um, I mean, they're 94s. They're going to be usable. But I'm saying synergy-wise, too, like some pretty good cards. So uh, you just never know. Wow, that premium gold player pack was horrible. That was horrible. Okay, so we got a jumbo premium pack. We're going to skip this one. It is a big pack nothing in it though my god cody cc never mind there's something in it oh my i have had zero pack luck recently ever since that team of your headman poll i mean that makes sense but we're moving on to the nhl players choice pack though it's a select total of eight nhl players over four rounds with at least 480 plus players so it's not an ultimate pack but it's close to it pretty much so let's see what we get here Miles Wood, okay, we're going to take the 79, or the 77 and the 79 because we do get 480 pluses, so we'll look at it that way, right? Uh, second round, Kyle Turris, Glenn Anderson, Keith Kachuk. Okay, so two of our 80 pluses are going to be from here. I guess we'll take Nielsen and uh, great Glenn Anderson, sure. Third round here, hoping for something big. Let me see a purple at least. Jordan Eberle, Colin Wilson. Max Pacioretty, Adam Fox will take Patches and Wilson, sure. Last round here. Come on, something. Koskinen, Justin Williams, Vernon, and Kevin Hayes. All right, not the greatest packs, that's for sure. That is it for today. Um, in all honesty, EA, uh, another W for an event, so good on them. They're, they're finding out what to do. Um, and they're doing it right now, which is amazing. So, um, yeah, that's it for today's video. If you guys did like the video, be sure to drop a like on it. If you're new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. We're on the road to 4,000 subscribers. But, yeah, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.